Back to the game, shall we? Sorry about that for the derps. Playing with stuff I probably didn't have to be playing with. <laughs> Let us... Let us go mining for coal. We'll get the coal we need for the dank null that we want so we can have some reliable food source. Um, can we use the dank null for it now that I'm thinking about it? Or is it only blocks? Might just make, might just use a shulker. <laughs> that was my Hermes. I've had him for five years. The other two are relatively new, and I was trying to, I've got new pictures. I was trying to get them to show up. Maybe next time. <laughs> uh, anyway, it looks like we have a couple of things we should try and work on. Um, anything can go in. So how do we eat food that's in a dank null? Do we need to take it out of the dank null to eat it? Ooh, look, it's spread! Fantastic. We're gonna take you. uses of you could do mushroom stew which is the same as beetroot stew as far as um yeah you have to take it out first good to know all right we were working on making another hopping bonsai to double our log production before break so let's do that there's the bonsai hopping bonsai with the grass and then there is a sapling up here so we can do that sapling all right put you there there we go now we're doubling our log production and yep the next issue probably is the speed of our coke oven <laughs> which is probably the next bottleneck we're going to have but we do have a slow trickle of mana production now which was the goal so let's repair our pick and go collect some uh, coal. We have luck two currently. We could do luck three. There we go. Now we have all the luck. And let's go collect some coal. I dug a hole somewhere. Here we are. No, that's not it. I have I have a mine started and I thought that was it, but this does not go anywhere. Is this it? This is it. All right. And then I was going this way. And just mining straight instead of doing any of my poke hole stuff. So yeah, let's do it. And this is just going towards the edge of the island because that's where a little bit of forest is available only in this area. So this is where I've been looking for copper tin. 
lead and coal. So we'll do a little bit of that. See if we can't get a stack and a half of... Is that how much we needed? Hang on. Five sides, each with four blocks in it. So that's 20 blocks, 20 times nine. Twenty blocks, nine pieces per block. Okay, so I'm gonna be at this a while if I want to actually get everything I need. Not gonna spend that long doing this, but we can get a good dent, hopefully. if we can actually find some coal. And that is out, so... Did I cut through? might not have I'll have to keep an eye out That was a lot of iron. Sweet. There. There's the connection point. Remember how we were hunting for that last time? Never would have found it. Yes, actually, there. <laughs> These are found inside endstone. This um, is coal. It can be found in the Stygian growth biome. Um, diamonds are found in porphyric spikes in the acidic plains. Copper, tin, and lead are found in the Stygian growth biome. Yep. Yep. I did not find that right away. I wonder how this still says the end, but when I get to here, here, okay, I could go that direction a little bit. Keep an eye when it changes biomes because it won't be useful to us, though no, that's as far as I could go. All right. Back this way. Come on, just find some coal, and then I will consider it a success for now.
So how many of you watching like Batania mod? How many of you have gone beyond the end of lane? Well, come on. Some coal would be nice. I'm gonna poke out of the world here shortly. Ah. I love Batania's endgame. The mid-game stuff's great too. Really, really love Batania. Like, seriously, could play it all day, every day. All of the stuff you can do with it. The fact that it feels like magic, but it's got tech, and it's just oh, cool. Here we go. It's just a well-made mod. I have supported Vasky for a really long time. I don't I haven't in a while, so if I've got a flower on my head, it's because he's lazy and hasn't changed that. Um, I haven't supported him for a couple months because I ran out of, you know, I explained that in my last stream. Edward was unemployed for a while, so I had to stop all my patronage. That got us a half a stack. That's nice. Um, I'd like to resume that. But my birthday month is this month, guys. Yay. Um, and uh, Edward's already given me my present. Uh, my birthday isn't until... Uh, it's a couple weeks from now. Um, but since we just moved and he got paid, I have my own bedroom, for those of you who don't know. Yes, we're married, but we do not sleep together because we are not sleep compatible. Um, and, uh, so I get to decorate my room anyhow I want, and I'm so excited because this is the first time I've had a bedroom where my office was not also in the bedroom, and I'm gonna make it so pretty. <laughs> so he gave me a, a little bit of money, a small amount, to do some of the enhancements and improvements that I want to do. So I bought a nice bed frame and I bought some storage and some better vanity mirror and I have plans for paint but we didn't really have room in the budget to buy all the stuff needed to actually paint. Like I could have afforded the paint but I would have needed the rollers and drop cloths and painters tape and brushes and all that stuff. So that didn't happen. Um, if any of you want to help contribute, all you have to do is subscribe to me, or I think I still have my donations up too. Most of the donations go towards getting treats for the kitties, so that you know if you donate to me, I end up just using going to Amazon and buying kitty treats, or I need a couple new beds for the new kitties, because they're not sleeping in the ones that smell like um, Maximus and Loki. Makes sense, but... <laughs> Um, yeah. So there's that. Um, but anyway, what else do I have coming? I bought some sheets and... <sighs> Mentioned a light. Oh, no, I didn't. Lights for the vanity. You know, just, you know, stuff. Stuff, you know, you're probably not that interested in stuff. Why am I... There we go. I think... I'd really like just to get a stack, but we're not we're not very successful here finding enough coal. Um Yeah, so I'm really ha I really had fun ordering stuff and now for like the next week to 10 days starting today, I'm just going to be getting packages and packages in the mail. It's going to feel like Christmas every day for a while as I get things in the mail. Yay! <laughs> I'm kind of hoping this would reveal coal. Okay, I almost broke rule number one again. 
anyway. So I could go hog wild with Batania and get a whole bunch of stuff here going. Um, it seems like if you're starting with Batania, it's possible that it will be useful throughout the pack. Um, even though there are other things in the pack. So there's that to keep in mind. Um, you can pretty much do everything with Batania that you could ever want to do. Alright, no luck here with the coal, so we'll head back this way towards our main strip and get out of here. And then, um, yeah, I'll do this again on my own time and try and get enough for a dank null. This is just not happening right now. Well, gee, this vein has pretty much everything attached to it except for coal. Picks about broken. Um, we should have. Yep. There we go. Well, this is certainly not an unsuccessful mining run, it just didn't net us what we were looking for. Once we get a decent um, mana supply going, we could find out about making the, um, the Orchid Endium. Oh, no, that needs a Rune of Pride and a Rune of Greed. That's not as easy as I thought it might be. Yeah, so that's going to be a while. But this is... Um, allows you to use end stone to generate ores. So that's um, like a void miner, but Batania's version. Am I down one? I am out of space. Let's see if I uncover any Nope, I don't. Alright. Let's head back. And that didn't work. Oh, there's a shulker still there. There's still two out here. Oh, yeah. Hey! Look at that! It's growing! Fantastic! Alright, we need a massive storage for some of this stuff. Because <laughs> that's going to be it. Great. 
So we weren't able to get towards the dank null that close. We've still got... Well, let's make these into blocks. We have a long way to go. There we go. We have ten. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. The bag of holding is something we can approach. That is fine. I don't quite need it right now, but it probably will come in a very handy if I decide to move to that island, which I'm I'm almost 100% sure we're going to move to that island we looked at here, this one, because it's mostly forest. So I'll be happy with that. Very, very happy with that, because this is all we've got right now, is this little bit here. Um... And it's nearby the acidic plains. In fact, we might be able to to weigh stone to the uh, acidic plains, and then ender pearl. That looks like a pretty far ender pearl. That's four chunks. We'll have to do it from this direction. Yeah, I wonder how much further it goes this way. Anyway, getting sidetracked. We're still working towards Batania stuff. We could make a bed, and we could go collect some Dragon's Breath. <laughs> Let's see, so we need glass. Which means we need sand, which means we need cobblestone. So let's get some more of that going. I have two sand. Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, that is not... That's not what we wanted, was it? Some of you turned into cobble. Am I actually going to brave this? Hello. Um. Hi. This does make me very nervous. We just have to stay alive. <sighs> now, in case you don't know, when you play Batania, there is something in the end that you can get called Ender Air. You get Ender Air by clicking on End Stone in the end, okay? Dragon's Breath, since it sits on top of the End Stone, you actually need to try and click the air above the block to pick up the Dragon's Breath. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to decide if I need more than six, six to attempt this. Let's do another six. Okay. 
nervous. Just a little nervous. Don't want to die. Mainly because it'll be really hard to get our stuff back with a dragon flying around. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's just... I can't empty it if I do that, though. Yeah, you need to click above. So that's going to be the, the challenge. <laughs> to make sure we don't get Ender Air, that we get Dragon's Breath. Whoa. Dang it. Come back. I know. Alright, so we need to teleport to that death point. This one. This is the world spawn area where we Isn't it? This is not. Where are we? Well, thanks. Oh, yes it is. There. That's where we're headed. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm not looking forward to this, but... What choice do we have? And I brought a stack and a half in case the where we spawn in it happens to not be close. At least there are um, death tombstones. Anything else I'm forgetting other than not dying. Okay, we're here. Mm. All right, dragon, come down here and blow some air. Is she gonna come down here? Yes. There's some air. Here we got some. We got six. Yeah. I got some mutation air too. Now we go home. <laughs> I got nine dragon's breath and three ender air. That's a pretty good run, I think. Woo! Everybody celebrate with some beetroot soup. Hi, Atlas. No, I can't hold you right now, sweetheart. No. All right. Everybody say hi to Atlas. I love you, Bobby. I'm gonna put you down now. No. You fought that. Let me put you down. There we go. Sorry about that. He wants to celebrate too. So. I need to craft a fire rune. Fire rune. It's this recipe. We need firewood, gunpowder. Okay. Um, ah, okay, so how do we get flint? Gravel, right, but I can't, um,
There we go. I need to make a squeezer. That's a bit of iron, some dark wood, and then I need to actually make firewood. Right clicking a warm wood plank with a chunk of end infused iron will create a firewood block. Okay, so I'm assuming this thing that we got, we need to smelt. No, we need to do this. We need to do mana infuse it. And then hit the wood plank to get firewood. All right. Okay. <laughs> we have some steps to do to make a fire rune. We're gonna need a squeezer first. So let's smelt up some iron. The rest of this stuff I've done. That is gold. It would be nice if I could have a surplus of charcoal or use the creosote as fuel. Can you use creosote for any sort of fuel? It only smells four items, <laughs> but I can use it in a sterling generator. Makes five RF a tick for six and a half minutes. Makes 800 RF. Makes 8,000 RF. Pardon me. I need you because I need some. Six. Great. You. Need to make you first. Now I've got a squeezer. I have space. I think I have space. Yeah. Okay. And we need cobble um, and a lever. Actually, a button would work. We'll put it there now. Por qué? Am I not in the right spot? Did I make the wrong thing? No, that's what I need. more jumping space for some reason? I do. Aha. Okay. And then that will get me gunpowder. Great, so we have that. Now we need firewood and we have the uh, dragon's breath. So we need firewood, that's the next thing. So we need to smelt the chunk we got from the enderman. No we don't, we need to, we need to mana infuse it, right? Yep, mana infuse. And we get a chunk, and then we need a smack piece of um, the wood 
with it to convert it into firewood. So we can just probably do it right here. Uh, right clicking. Oh, plank. Not a log. There we go. Gives us firewood. Great. And so there's what we need for a uh, fire room. Let's do this. Okay. Of course, I don't have my wand on me to turn the spreader. Take you off, and you, and you, and you. Great. Okay. Uses of the fire rune. One for the terrestrial agglomeration plate that we should be working toward. Which means we need to make more earth runes. Um, we also need to be improving our mana generation setup. With some other kind of mana gen, I believe. <clears throat> Our options are food, which we have bread and beets, and that's probably about it. I don't, because you can't do beetroot soup because it has a secondary item. <clears throat> it returns the bowl, so you can't, I don't think you can use it with the gormorillus. Um... What other options? I think that's really it for food. <sighs> I don't... Mm -mm, we can make plant oil. Ooh! We can get melons, which means we get pumpkins. We could do melons and beets. I think those both have a similar food amount. It's still really low. As far as food is concerned, that's pretty darn low. Hmm. thinking here. <coughs> I think that's our own next option though. I don't... I mean that's usually everyone's next option is the Gormorillus. Flower is better than the Endoflame and it's better than spamming a bunch of Endoflames even if you can easily automate it. <sighs> Alright. Can't use that because we don't have lava. It's awfully hard to get XP. The munch do we're gonna we would need a tree farm, which oh if that needs a tier three rune anyhow, so that's not exactly this needs TNT, which we can make the stuff because it's just sand and gunpowder. But that means automating the creation of flint and crafting it into gunpowder. Um that's work, and that requires a tier 3 rune as well. We can't do cake, gormorillus, we can't do slime, can't do wool, can't do this because it requires the portal and tier 3. 
Shulk me not would be lovely, but in part two tier threes and a Gaia kill, and that's the end game one. That's not one we're doing. So that's it. Okay. Thoughts. Really think our next step is the Gormorellus because it requires just tier a tier one and a tier two rune. Um, we'd have to find out how to get a slime ball. We can do these, and we can just found out we can do that. Tinkers, which we don't have access to yet. Oh, actually, yes, we do. We probably do. Seared. Seared stone. Well, well, no, we don't have lava. So we can't do tinkers till we have lava. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> hmm. Clearly, we need to do some thinking here. I guess more end of flames for now. Trying to get our beef up our setup for the end of flame to work towards these levels. We'd make a bed. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Can we get cocoa beans from seeds? Um, yes, the bonsai pot generates leaves. Um, once I have the rune I need correct, I could use the munch dew and it would consume the leaves that I'm not using. So that is something I could do. It's probably not going to create a lot. Yes, I can get co I can't grow cocoa beans though, because I don't have jungle wood. Um the jungle sapling we'd have to hope and pray that it's been added to no because we have <laughs> nope because we have the sapling that we have we don't have earth saplings Earth. We don't have overworld saplings to be able to grow cocoa beans, so that's a no. Can't make cookies. Mm. Yeah. To make the so the munch do. What does it need for that rune? It needs winter, which we can't make. We can't make winter because we can't make cake. Um, it needs milk and eggs, which we can't get. So that's out. For now. Oh, I need I need to turn that back so that I'm generating mana again. Oops. There we go. Oopsie. Yay. I mean, that's only because I goofed. This was going to get all consumed pretty darn quickly. But anyway. You know, I think I'm actually going to call it for today. Um, I wasn't feeling so great yesterday, and I'm still not 100% today. So I might go lay down. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow we will continue progressing with Batania. I may or may not have relocated my base by then. Who knows? We'll see what I end up doing the rest of today. Um... And we need to continue just building up our Batania stuff so that we can do the terrestrial agglomeration plate and so that we can make the portal 
uh, to make a terra steel, and then we're going to need to craft a nature pylon with that terra steel to probably make the portal. Um, yeah. So we'll be getting to that point. Yeah, we need to be really upping our mana game a lot, it looks like, before we get into some tech. So yeah, what is that? Terrain scanner and biome scanner. Mm, okay, before we get to the... Gotcha. Good to know, good to know. We're doing all right. Oh, has everyone enjoyed the pack so far? What do you think? Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it for today. I do appreciate you hanging out with me while I continue progressing in Levitated. We'll get back into it tomorrow morning, same time, and I will see you back then. Take care, folks. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!